So we're just one day away from voting in the New Hampshire primary, the important New Hampshire primary, voting in both parties, obviously, Democrat and Republican, good races on both sides. I wanted to talk today a little bit about three things to look for on the Republican side in the New Hampshire primary. The first one would be Marco Rubio. He is in some ways the man in the middle of the whole conversation right now. Donald Trump is still the favorite to win in New Hampshire. He's been ahead in the polls for a long time. They're ahead by a lot. But there are signs in our new NBC Wall Street Journal Marist polling that Marco Rubio, after his good showing in Iowa, is starting to creep up on Donald Trump. Does he cut enough into the Donald Trump lead that it looks like an anticlimax for Donald Trump in New Hampshire, much as Iowa turned out that way for Donald Trump? Second thing is, can any of the establishment lane people will not name Marco Rubio, make enough of a splash in the voting that they can break out and move ahead. That is to say, Chris Christie, Jeb Bush, Governor John Kasich of Ohio, they're all in a spot because if they don't do well in New Hampshire, it's going to be hard to see a road ahead for them. Marco Rubio has bought himself a ticket deep into the process, and he seems to be rising in New Hampshire. Not so clear any of those other three guys are. Third question, Ted Cruz in New Hampshire. How much will he fall back and can he make a strong showing in a state that's not really suited for him? Small evangelical audience in New Hampshire, unlike in Iowa and unlike in the states that lie ahead in the South, probably not going to win New Hampshire. That would be a huge surprise if he did. But can he make a credible showing as, say, a second or third place candidate, which would show some staying power and some broadening power after that surprise win in Iowa? So he doesn't have to win. There's going to be a lot of attention paid to what the number looks like for Ted Cruz in a state where even he is not really necessarily thought he was going to do all that well. So three things to look at uh, in the New Hampshire primary. We'll talk tomorrow about things to look for in the Democratic primary.